Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me once again. Welcome back to another WWE 2K20 tournament featuring the women. Our final one of the month. And then on December 31st, we'll have that big fatal four-way. Right now, this is a battle for the NXT Women's Championship featuring the NXT women with one exception. <laughs> um, so, I realized that in this game, I didn't have many women from specifically NXT and not only that but also I used Tegan Knox in the previous tournament if you haven't checked that out go ahead and check it out and I apologize for my form on that one <laughs> I don't really know too much about those the, uh, the people outside of WWE so that one was a bit rough of a watch but anyways point being we're here for the NXT Women's Championship Tournament. So, in place of that, I decided to give Kyrie Sane another shot at this title because I felt like she should have been in that previous tournament and she wasn't. So, this is why Kyrie Sane, with her history of NXT, is going to be in this match. So, we have Shayna Baszler in the first round versus Kyrie Sane, a rematch from the multiple times that they fought, including their May Young Classic final. We have Bianca Belair taking on Io Shirai. We have Dakota Kai taking on Candice LeRae. And we have Rhea Ripley taking on Mia Yip. So these four matches all set to take place starting off with Shayna Baszler versus Kyrie Sane. Thank you all for once again for allowing us to be in your home for this tournament. I really appreciate you continuing to watch the series. And if you haven't already, go ahead and check out the... Um, special series I have going on on in addition to this throughout January the month of the rumble every single day from January 1st to January 30th we have a Royal Rumble winner we have a Royal Rumble and the winners will all compete in a special rumble on December on January 31st and here comes the Queen of Spades Shayna Baszler one of the most dominant women Shayna Baszler. Oops. Breaking my game. <laughs> um, these guys fought many times in the past, incurring, including in the Mae Young Classic Finals of the original tournament, as well as NXT TakeOver Brooklyn. And they fought on NXT before. They have also fought on uh, Evolution. For the NXT Women's Championship. So these two women have had much history. Shayna Baszler, no stranger to tournaments making it to the finals. But now she might be able to win the title belt she is so familiar with. The NXT Women's Championship. And here comes the Pirate Princess. Kyrie Sane. Kyrie Sane. Kyrie Sane, former NXT Women's Champion in her own right. The former winner of the inaugural May Young Classic. And, at the time of recording, current Women's Tag Team Champion alongside Asuka. But she was also in that um, tag team scene with Io Shirai for the Sky Pirates. Who might, after this tournament said and done, be facing here tonight. The Pirate Princess... One of the best wrestlers in the business, including having one of the best elbow drops in the world today. Looks ready to fight Shayna Baszler one more time to finally put an end to this feud, to this fight. And Kyrie Sane is ready for action. She is also no stranger to tournaments, winning the May Young Classic. In the first iteration. And now Kyrie Sane looks to win another tournament. And another tournament to her belt. If my computer wouldn't stop freezing. There we go. 
Shayna Baszler, the Queen of Spades, Kyrie Sane, the Pirate Princess, set to go one on one here at NXT TakeOver of Phoenix. Here we go. Lock up in the center of the ring. Shayna just throwing Kyrie Sane down to the ground. What a spear by Kyrie. Match already off to an explosive start here. We have seen women's champions crown all throughout this tournament some ups and some downs in how well these tournaments were executed. But in the first tournament, we saw China walk away by defeating Beth Phoenix. We saw in the second tournament, Bailey won by defeating Ember Moon. Sorry for the spoilers. And finally, in the previous tournament, we saw, I forgot who won. We saw Tony Storm defeat, um, I forgot who won. Is that? Oh, uh, Tessa Blanchard and then defeated Tennille Dashwood. Tennille Dashwood was the one. Kyrie stands up. Shayna Baszler now. Oh, throwing Kyrie across the ring. Sorry for the spoiler warning on any of those tournaments. You can go check them out. There is a lot of shenanigans throughout the tournament. People are interfering left and right. Um, clones of people showing up out of nowhere and some of them. It's ridiculous. Right, wrenching on the arm is Shayna Baszler. Shayna is in control. And whoa, what a forearm. Sending Kyrie down to the mat. For some reason, Shayna Baszler has always had Kyrie's number for the most part. To have been relatively tied in past meetings. Shayna winning twice for the NXT Women's Championship. Kyrie winning twice, once beating Shayna for the title, as well as winning the Mae Young Classic from the get. Shayna is out of it. Rolling through, sending Kyrie face first. Gut wrench. Oh, man. Oh, what a maneuver from Shayna Baszler. Rolling gut wrench suplexes. And a cover. One, two, and a kick out of two. Kyrie stays in it, but possibly not for long. Going for. Oh, man, what a kick. Could be thinking Carafu to clutch at any point. Wrenching on that arm. Injuring the arm that could possibly drop that elbow. The insane elbow, but Shayna. Has Kyrie up. Oh, Carafu to clutch. Lock in. Will Kyrie say tap? Kyrie's trying to fight out of it. But Kyrie gets out of it. Shayna lets her out. Going for the pin. Cover. One, two. Oh, and Kyrie just barely gets the shoulder up. Shayna down in this match with relative ease, but Kyrie looking for a big move. Hurricane Rana. Wrenching on the arm again. It's Kyrie Sane. Shayna Baszler's up. And Shayna counters. Oh, what a kick. And Shayna. Showing oh, she was one of the most dominant NXT Women's Champions of all time. S. Thez Press. Oh, what a spinning back fist. The crowd are on their feet for Kyrie. Going for the cover. One, two, no. Crowd are on their feet. Shayna's still alive. But no, Shayna. Tear it down, Kyrie. Kyrie fighting out of it.
Taz pressed again. Breaking the screen. Nothing right because of programming. Uppercut from Shayna with a running boot. Stomping on the arm. Uh oh. Kyrie saying with the counter and clothesline to the outside. Down goes Baylor. Shayna throwing Kyrie back into the ring. Carefoot a clutch. One more time. Dropping down. Will Kyrie same tap out? And yeah, she has no choice but to tap out. Shayna Baszler moves on in this tournament. The Queen of Spades moving on. Manhandled Kyrie for most of the match. And spinning back fist almost put her away. But in the end, the Kirafuda clutch made her tap out. Shayna Baszler moves on in the tournament. Congratulations to Shayna. Now we move on to our next mount. Bianca Belair and Io Shirai. Two, I believe both women have competed in the Mae Young Classic. I know Io Shirai made it to the finals of one of them. I'm not 100% sure about Bianca Belair. Here we are at NXT TakeOver Phoenix, and here comes Bianca Belair. And Belair did compete in the Mayan Classic before. Bianca Belair competed in the first Mayan Classic. Defeating Aaliyah to be to even qualify for it. She would go on to defeat Sage Beckett in the first round before being eventually eliminated by Kyrie Sane. And so that's her tournament experience. But now, Bianca Belair looks to capture the NXT Women's Championship. A title that's eluded her for so long after she has competed for it against the likes of Shayna Baszler. And if she wins, she has to compete Shayna against Shayna again, and Shayna will be standing in her way one more time. Bianca Belair is one of the, that hair whip is very, very brutal. And it might spell doom for her opponent here. Io Shirai. Here comes a person who's had a nasty streak as of late. We'll talk about that in just a moment. And from Tokyo, Japan, Io Shirai. Io Shirai, the runner-up in the second Mayan Classic, losing to Tony Storm, who, if Io Shirai wins this tournament, she will be competing against in that fatal four-way. But we have Io Shirai, somebody who's had a should I say a mean streak as of late excuse me still early in the morning Io Shirai one of the best wrestlers in the business he wants a beautiful moonsault set to compete here in another tournament in the NXT Women's Championship Here we go, Bianca Belair in one corner. Io Shirai in the other. Set to go one on one. Here we go. And Bianca just picking up Io Shirai. And slamming her down. And Bianca Belair in control. These two competed on NXT at one point. For the number one contendership for the women's championship. 
They also competed in a fatal four-way against the likes of Mia Yim and Candice LeRae, who you'll see later on in this tournament. Bianca Belair showing the strength, sending Io Shirai down to the ground. Bianca Belair now tearing apart Shirai. Going for a suplex and nails it. The EST of NXT. In control. Yoshirai has not gotten any offense in as of this point. Nope. They spoke too soon. Russian leg sweep from EO. Jack Belair up to her feet now. And off the ropes. And a nice hip toss. Bianca Bella trying to put Io Shirai away, but Shirai coming out with a forearm. Multiple kicks, and what a kick to the head from Io Shirai. Knocking Bianca Belair loopy. Going for a dark kick. Bianca Belair counters. Grabbing Io Shirai by the neck. Or by the shoulders, I can't really tell. Because the hair is all in the way. Bianca Belair, Cardio Shirai. Face first. Bianca Belair now. Sorry for the interruption. To the top rope. What could she be thinking here? Sorry, the game is being very laggy right now. Give me one moment. Here we go. Bianca Belair up top. Superplex. Both women are down for a second, but Bianca Belair back to her feet in the corner. Waiting for Io Shirai. Landed her feet. Spear! And Shirai is down. Covered by Belair. Two. Three. And Bianca Belair with ease defeating Io Shirai. It'll be Bianca Belair taking on Shayna Baszler in the second round. But what a brutal victory from Bianca Belair. Here is your winner, Bianca Belair. Congratulations, Bianca Belair, who moves on to the second round. Sorry, I'm a bit I'm a bit under the weather this morning. And let's try and get this going. But moving on to our next round. Dakota Kai. Candace Lorray. Set here for one-on-one -on -one action. They're both former May Young Classic competitors. Actually, I believe all of these women competed in the May Young Classic. Now that I think about it. And here comes Dakota Kai. Dakota Kai took on Candice LeRae this um recently in NXT on in November, the day before uh, my birthday actually, the day before Thanksgiving. And these two women are set here for one on one action. Dakota Kai recently attacking her friend Tegan Knox in the middle of War Games. Now set. To compete in this tournament here. And here comes Mrs. Wrestling, Candice LeRae. And from Anaheim, California, Candice LeRae. 
Candice LeRae. One of the brightest spots of the NXT women's division breaking my game. <laughs> Mrs. Wrestling. Shout out to Johnny Gargano, who has done well in these month of the Rumbles. And Candice LeRae set for one-on-one -on -one action. Hopefully make her husband proud. Not only her husband, but herself as well. Dakota Kai in one corner, Ken Saray in the other. Here we go, lock up in the center of the ring. Lock up these two. Have very similar styles. Ken Saray with a Hurricane Rana. What a shot to the head. And Ken Saray has Dakota Kai. I mean, they can muggy flip it, she nails it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm being told right now that we have a special announcement coming after the winner of Rhea Ripley versus Mia Yim. So stay tuned for that special announcement regarding this tournament, apparently. According to what they're telling me in my headset. Candice LeRae is in control now. Kodakai up on her feet. Oh, man. What a running bulldog. And Candice LeRae just going right after Dakota Kai, like taking her down with multiple kicks to the back. And now Dakota Kai has Candice LeRae up, but no, Candice has that locked on, um, but Dakota Kai fighting out of it and sending Candice LeRae face first into the mat. Grabbing Candice LeRae by the head. Forearm to the face. Off the ropes. Rolling through. Kick to the chest. What a sequence by Dakota Kai and Candice LeRae here. Candice with the counter. Candice. Locking Dakota Kai in the middle of the ring. Wrenching on the head. Dakota Kai rolls through. Dragging Dakota Kai to the center of the ring. Lion Salt incoming. She nails it. Cover one. Did a kick out at one. Candice LeRae probably thinking what she has to do to put away Dakota Kai. Now taking Dakota Kai to the corner, to the ropes. To the outside. Candace, what is Candace thinking here? Grab Dakota Kai by the head. DDT on the apron. This is awesome chance from the crowd. Dakota Kai should be down and out. Uh-oh. Dakota Kai with the counter. It's a gurry. Cover. One. And a kick out of one. Candice LeRae stays alive in it. Could be looking for... The Kybreaker! Chiropractor, I mean. Uh oh. Candice LeRae throwing the Kota Kai off the ropes. Drop kick. Cover. One. Two. And Dakota Kai gets the shoulder up. Chiropractor even not putting Candice LeRae away. Misses wrestling in control. Roll through. Face. Dropped on her face. Dakota Kai set packing with a Hurricane Rana. To the top rope. Candice Ray. What could she be thinking here? Mood Salt. Perfect form.
Dropping a knee on the back of, Ke of Dakota Kai. Kick to the face. Now Candice. Looking to put Dakota Kai away, but no. Dakota, it's a gurry. Of her own. These two women, back and forth. What a kick from Dakota Kai. Multiple kicks. Oh, man. There's a reason why she's on Team Kick. At least not anymore, but still. Arm drag. Candice LeRae is on the outside. Flipping Candice LeRae back in. Landing on a tailbone. Dakota Kai. Let me take it for the chiropractor again. Second time. The chiropractor nails it. Cover. Two and Candice LeRae is kicked out of two chiropractors. Dakota Kai is frustrated now, trying to put Candice LeRae away. Oh, what a kick to the face! Suplex. Candice LeRae fights out of it. Hurricane Rana. Dakota Kai sent packing. The Gargano escape locked in. The Gargano escape will Dakota Kai tap. She has no choice. Mrs. Lorraine Van moves on. What a matchup back and forth. A lion salt from Candice LeRae and it's DDT on the apron. Absolutely brutal. But these two chiropractors sending Candice LeRae down. Beautiful maneuvers. But in the end, the Gargano escape was what made Dakota Kai tap out. Mrs. LeRae, Candice LeRae, Mrs. Wrestling, whatever you want to call her, she moves on in this tournament. Now we have one final matchup. Two brutal women taking part in this match. Rhea Ripley, Mia Yim, one on one. These two recently were supposed to team together at War Games, but unfortunately Dakota Kai took out Mia Yim. Rhea Ripley has made it her mission to take that NXT Women's Championship, specifically off of Shayna Baszler. Now these two women set to compete here. One more. One time tonight. And this is definitely her brutality. Rhea Ripley. One of the biggest stars as of late. Especially coming from NXT. Making her name for herself on TakeOver War Games weekend. We'll talk about it here in a moment. Rhea Ripley was the winner of the first ever War Games match alongside Candice LeRae for the women. In addition, she was also the winner of the SmackDown vs. Raw vs. NXT elimination match at Survivor Series the next night, being this one of the survivors of NXT. And now she looks... To continue her reign of dominance by defeating Mia Yim in this tournament. Mia Yim coming out. Set for action one more time. The head baddie in charge making her way to the ring. Mia Yim was supposed to compete in that same War Games match, but was taken out by Dakota Kai, who would have replaced her and then abandoned her team, leaving Rhea Ripley 
and Candace LeRae at a two on one, two on four in disadvantage. Despite that, Rhea Ripley won that War Games match, and Mia Yim has recently returned going for this match. Not only going after Dakota Kai, but this match as well. And Mia Yim set here for one on one action. Here we go. Rhea Ripley and Mia Yim set for one on one action right now. Rhea Ripley, former competitor in the Mae Young Classic. Mia Yim now targeting the arm. And these two starting some chain wrestling here in the beginning. Mia Yim has Rhea against the ropes. Wrenching on the back. Somehow clipping through the ropes. <laughs> maybe 2 k why do you do this to me? Mia Yim in control. Axe kick to the back of the head. Mia Yim is in control. Rhea Ripley is down. Multiple kicks to the face. Ripley is up. Drop kick. Sending me and packing. Ripley taking it to Mia Yim. Multiple shots to the back. One of the scariest women. Nobody thought that when they first met Rhea Ripley in the Mae Young Classic. Now she has undertaken this dark transformation. Being one of the most brutal competitors in the world. Drop kick again, but no, Mia Yim counters. Yim with a drop kick of her own. These women so evenly matched. Striking ability definitely goes to Mia Yim. All the power in the entertain the entertainment. The intimidation factor go to Rhea Ripley. Ripley. Big body slam on the Mia Yim. Wrenching on the neck. Mia Yim, though, making it to her feet. These two back and forth. Hurricane Rana from Yim. And Rhea Ripley rolling to the outside on the apron. And Mia Yim sending Rhea Ripley back into the ring. Ripley's on her feet. Counter. Punches to the face. And go for clothesline by Mia Yim. Pulling the rug out up under her. Sending Rhea Ripley to the floor. It's two battling on the outside. Mia Yim. Remember the rule of the outside. If these women get counted out in a draw. For any reason. The... Referee's decision is final. He's cho forced to choose a winner. Mia Yim sending Rhea Ripley down outside the ring. And Rhea Ripley back into the ring. Mia Yim soon follows. Trying to put Rhea Ripley away. To the outside again. Mia Yim is not having any of it. Brutal competitor. Kick to the face. Among other things. Mia Yim is firmly in control. Suplex. Thinking now Ripley. Count of five. But Rhea throws Mia Yim. Into the corner. Count of seven. Rhea Ripley picking up Mia Yim. Power bomb on the outside. Count of eight. Count of nine. Rhea needs to get back into the ring. And no, it's a draw. Meaning the referee has to make a decision between these two. 
I had a bad feeling about that. I had a bad feeling that these two were going to go into a no contest. But, we are going to leave this screen. The referee calling for the bell. And the winner, via referee decision, is Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley moves on to fight Candice LeRae, Shayna Baszler, and Bianca Belair. Set for one-on-one -on -one action. And a huge announcement here coming in just a moment after Shayna's introduction. Stick with us for a moment. These two competed against each other in a former NXT takeover. Now the Queen of Spades set for action after defeating Kyrie Sane in the first round. The Queen of Spades ready for tournament action once again. Shayna Baszler defeating Tyree Sane in the first round. Could be making it to the finals, which, as I'm being told in my headset now, the finals of the NXT Championship Tag, the NXT Championship Tournament will be contested inside a steel cage. No women can enter. No women can exit. And the winner of that match it can only be decided by pinfall or submission in a steel cage. Shayna Baszler is at home in a cage, at home in an octagon. Could be ready for competition herself. And here comes her opponent, Bianca Belair, who had an impressive showing in the previous round as well. Bianca Belair had beaten Io Shirai in the previous round. Each of these women had defeated a member of the Sky Pirates team. And the EST of NXT set for action again. Winning with, sim with a simple, just a simple move. Forgot what move she won with. It's been so long. All these matches end up playing together. Anyway, the EST of NXT set for action against the Queen of Spades. The fiance or wife, I don't know at this point, of Montez Ford, which who will be competing in the tag team tournament next month. That's right. It's all about mixed match challenge and tag team tournaments next month. In February, Bianca Belair and Shayna Baszler set for action one on one. Here we go. Bianca Belair rolling through, knee to the back. And here we go, Shayna Baszler back at it again, tearing down Bianca. Shayna was definitely more hurt in the first round. Then Bianca Belair was who defeated Io Shirai with relative ease. Wrenching on the arm. Shayna Baszler. Has Bianca Belair on her feet. Apologize for the glitches. Shayna Baszler in control. Bianca Belair up top. Oh, Bianca Belair counters though. But not another... Not privy to another counter from Shayna Baszler. Shayna stomping on the hair of Bianca Belair. Bianca fighting out of it. Going for it. Shot blocked to the knee. Bianca is still getting destroyed here. Got red suplex. Roll through again. And another suplex and a roll through for the pin. Cover. 
two, and no, Bianca Belair just stays alive. This match has been all Shayna. Bianca Belair with a counter. But no, Shayna wrestles her to the ground. Shayna's still in control. Multiple shots. Oh, wow, what a punch to the face. Belair is sending Shayna to the corner. Up to the top rope. What could Bianca Belair be thinking? Could possibly be thinking superplex. Bianca Belair up top. Superplex to the center of the ring. Shayna is down. We think it reverse power bomb. Is Shayna done? Did Bianca Belair defeat Shayna? No. Shayna is still in it. Bianca Belair has got Shayna up. Oh, man. Slamming Shayna flat on her face. Cover from Bianca Belair. One, two. And Bianca Belair defeats Shayna Baszler. In a surprise upset, Bianca Belair moves on to the finals. Shayna had this match dominated, but a reverse powerbomb and that big slam from Bianca Belair, that torture rack driver, put Shayna away. Bianca Belair moves to the cage match finals. The cage match that will hopefully prevent anybody from interfering like the last couple. Candice LeRae and Rhea Ripley set to take each other on in this match. Rhea Ripley, Candice LeRae, the nightmare, and Mrs. Wrestling. Here we go. And here comes Candice LeRae. These two have, I believe, competed before, but... Oh, wait. Rhea Ripley. Running down the ramp. Candice already distracted. Oh, my God. Rhea, why is she attacking Candice LeRae? Getting a head start on Candice. Rhea Ripley. Is very aggravated. Attacking Candice before the bell. Uh oh, stomping on the arm of Candace on the outside. Rhea Ripley attacking Candace before the bell. Candace can't even make it to her feet right now. Candace trying so desperately to make it to her feet. And these two just staring at each other allow me to fix this for a second we're Ripley slamming down Candice LeRae and into the ring Goes Candace. No, never mind. We replay to the outside. Candace LeRae and Rhea Ripley finally making it into the ring. And the match begins officially. The match is officially underway. Candace. Has Rear by the head. 
We're going to try to fight out of it. Okay, and this drop kick to the back. Rhea in control from the start. Starting off with an attack on Candice. One of these women will fight in a steel cage match against Bianca Belair in the next round in the finals. Here we go. Candice, neckbreaker. Rhea Ripley up on her feet. Candice. Though, no, fighting out of it. Rhea Ripley. Big Michinoku driver. Cover. One, two, and no. Candace stays alive. Rhea Ripley going for a big slam. Candace fights out of it. Into the corner. Now I've got the ropes. Tornado DDT. And Rhea rolling once again to the outside. Back in the ring now. Cutter! Cover. Two. And oh my gosh, what a move from Rhea Ripley. Who completely tore down Candace. And now just Rhea taunting Candace LeRae. And Candace rolls to the outside. Back into the ring. Rhea Ripley, guillotine choke. Will. Oh, she's in the ropes. About to say Will Array tap, but she's in the rope. Wrenching the arm. Kick to the face. Now Rhea just raining down the fists on Larray. Rhea Ripley. Has he got Larray up? Suplex time. No, Larray counters. Drop kick. No. Candace counters. Got Rhea Ripley down. Rhea Ripley's up. Into the corner. Top rope. Rhea Ripley. As Candace down. Hurricane Rana from the top rope. The Nightmare going for a big move, but no. Candace counters. Now Candace has no hope right now as Rhea Ripley takes care of Candace. Candace LeRae getting dominated by Rhea Ripley. Multiple punches to the face. Ripley in control, but Candace with a counter of her own. Hurricane Rana again. Getting Ray Ripley to her feet. Code breaker. Cover. One, two, and no. Ray Ripley is staying alive. The Gargano escape. Locked in, this is the same way that she defeated Dakota Kai. Will Rhea Ripley tap out here? Will Rhea submit? No. Rhea Ripley fights out of it. Punch to the face. Oh. Rhea Ripley, DDT. Sending Candice right to the floor. Rhea Ripley has Candace up now. Stalling suplex. Holding her there. And slamming Candace LeRae back. One, two, and a kick out. Lorray stays alive. Shout out to the back. Candace Lorray still in this. Candace Lorray 
Lion Salt. Two, three, and Rhea Ripley is down. Candice LeRae moves on. What a matchup between these two. Candice with that code breaker. But in the end, Candice LeRae won with a lion salt picture. Perfect. Candice LeRae has made it to the finals. Neither woman I actually expected to. But one of these women will join China, Bailey, and Tony Storm in a fatal four way match for the women's championship. And this match, as I said, was is a steel cage match. All right. Here we go. Steel Cage. Bianca Belair. Candice LeRae. Set here for one-on-one -on -one competition. These two women fought hard to make it to this final. And here comes Bianca Belair. Up, oh, well, computer, send this to me. The following contest is the final in the championship tournament. It is for the NXT Women's Championship. Making her way to the ring from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair. Bianca Belair got to this point by defeating Io Shirai. And. Also, defeating the defeating um oh who was the last one uh, Shayna Baszler after a reverse power bomb and now set for competition again Bianca Belair dominant the match that takes place. In a cage. Here we go. Candice LeRae. Candice LeRae, Miss LeRae, defeated Dakota Kai and Rhea Ripley. To get to this point here, and now Candice LeRae set for competition one more time. Sorry, I am also multitasking. Here we go. Here you go, the NXT Women's Championship is on the line. Here we go. Set for competition. The cage lowers. And here we go. Now Bianca Belair. Slamming Lorraine down. Unfortunately, I could not turn off the escape, so the escape is in effect. Bianca Belair to the top already. Trying to escape, but Candice climbing up. Trying to get after Bianca. Trying to get her back in the ring. Candace is not going down without a fight.
two women trying to make it to the top. These two women are up top. On the cage. This could be really bad. Oh, man. Candace and Bianca fighting up top. Both women perched high. This could be really bad. Whoever falls is more than likely going to lose this match. These two women stuck up top. Back and forth they go. Bianca Belair throwing Candace straight to the floor. And Bianca may move on. I believe she has. Bianca Belair escaping the cage. And she has done it. Bianca Belair is now your NXT Women's Champion. Your winner and new champion, Bianca Belair. Bianca escaping the cage finally after throwing Candice LeRae from the top. Bianca Belair is your new NXT Women's Champion. And she moves on to fight China, Bailey, and Tony Storm. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit the thumbs up button if you haven't done so already. I have been Michael Cruz. You've been watching Cruz Production. This has been Bianca Belair winning the NXT Women's Championship. And we will see you guys next week for the finale, the Fatal 4-Way match. Take care, everybody.